Would you want to know how to do this professional looking balayage? Using this beginner friendly steps and trust me, you will get it right all the time. I started by pinning my wig onto this mannequin head. I use this mannequin head because it just makes everything nice and clean. Next step is sectioning the hair. So it's really important to section the hair accurately. As you can see, I would like to have a money piece in front. So I'm sectioning the closure part of the hair. Let's say about two centimeters. And now towards the back, I'm sectioning this into two. You need to follow the steps to make it easier for you. The next step is taking your weft towel. So here I am just taking two out because this has just been single layered. I'm using a 20 volume developer and I'm using a bleach powder. I'm also using a tiny bowl. I know it looks tiny but trust me you don't need a lot of bleach. Now we begin. The first step is I'm going to take out two scoops of my Blondor. You don't have to use this exact brand. I use this because it's just a great great product. Then I go in with my 40 volume and I'm mixing it properly. I'm showing this stage because it's really important to mix your bleach with your developer properly to get like a to get a nice batter consistency because this will make your hair lift correctly. The next step is to start painting. So when you're painting your hair, you're actually taking out lifting the width up about 45 degrees. And then you're getting the brush and you're brushing the sides of the hair. Now you don't need to do this. 100% perfect but I would advise you to make it as clean as you can because you don't want to have patches of bleach everywhere. Once you get that V out then you're going to go inside the hair. You can leave the V just as it is um, if you only want like a subtle highlight but I'm going for like a subtle and a mid highlight. So I'm bleaching the hair itself, but I'm brushing on top of the hair. Now towards the ends, because I would love to, I would love to have like an ombre effect. So I'm bleaching and I'm soaking the back of the hair whilst I'm doing that. I know this might sound confusing, but I have, I'm going to be showing all of my steps here. So you're going to be able to see how I'm doing this. The next one is to go to the next section. As you can see, I'm working in sections because I want to ensure that my pattern is accurate so i want to do this pattern the same way i'm doing the second pattern so i'm taking the hair again and i'm using the bleach on the side of the hair don't worry about the back you're not looking at the back you're just brushing on top of the hair once you do that once you do that you're gonna get the brush again and then put it on top of the hair so go in the middle of the hair not from the top because you're leaving a gap so as you can see I'm putting it slant. It's like a slant style. You can freestyle this the way you want, but you just need to ensure that what you do on the right is what you're doing on the left. Because if you don't do the same, one side will look different than the other. Now here I'm going in with my clink film. Um, you can use a disposable one. You can also use like the paper cover thing. But I, to be honest, I just use clink film because I use that for my highlights as well. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing here, but the second one is going to be a different pattern. So if you're doing the pattern the exact same way, your hair is going to look, there will not be any dimension to the hair. You, you want the hair to flow freely. You want it to look like it's professionally done. So as you can see, I have done the sides. I'm doing both sides, but the difference to this is I am putting a line in the middle of the hair. So as you can see, it's just drawing a line down and I'm also like saturating the ends of the hair because I want that ombre effect. If you don't want an ombre effect, you can actually, you don't have to saturate the ends. You can just put the bleach on top of the hair. What confuses a lot of people is they think they need to saturate the back of the hair, the front of the hair. No, just put your bleach on top of the hair because this is what is balayage. So we're exactly doing a balayage here. It's not a highlight and you don't actually have to do highlight. You can get the same effects doing balayage. The reason I'm using clink film is because I don't want patches of bleach on my black hair. So you know where there's black, I just don't want my bleach touching it. I want it to be black. That's why you need to put clink film because it just makes your work nice and clean. Once you've done the full head, the next step is actually focusing on the money piece. 
I have patted the hair in two sections here and I'm bleaching the hair using a brush. I'm stroking the hair upwards. As you can see, I don't know if this is clear enough, but I'm actually brushing up using my brush and just painting on the hair. I'm not saturating all of it. I'm just brushing on top of the hair. And trust me, this is all you need to get a good money piece. Once you saturate it all, you need to place it gently. Like I said before, we don't want any patches of bleach where the black is. Once you've dropped it down, I'm trying to make sure that my front part actually blends with the back. So I'm adding the same line as I did at the back. And I'm also saturating the ends to give it that ombre effect. But if you just want a light touch, you just want a baby light, you don't actually have to do all of the back or, or saturating the ends of the hair. Yeah, I'm showing you, you don't need a lot of bleach. A little goes a long way when it comes to a balayage. Now it's all done. I've left it in for 20 minutes. I've washed it. My baby woke up, so I couldn't show you the clip of washing the hair. But I've just used a moisturizing shampoo. I've added no conditioner to the hair. Now it's time to tone the hair. So I'm toning. I'm using a nice slash 3-1 and also 99 from the Cold Stone Perfect brand. For the 931, I'm using 30 mil, so I'm using half of the tube. I'm going to go in with 99, which is just a dash of it. Then the next step is using my developer. I'm using the 20 volume developer here because I also want to lift the black hair into like a brownish kind of thing. If you don't want to lift the black hair, you could use a 10 volume developer or you could use a no lift developer for this stage. This is the easy part. You just need to saturate the hair properly, ensuring that it's well coated because you don't want any patch looking orange. And as you can see, I'm trying to lift the black as well. So I'm coating the hair properly so it all gets lifted. I lost the clip of washing the hair, but I only washed it with water, obviously. Used the shampoo, moisturizing one, and then I used a conditioner. And that's all. I left it to dry and I styled the hair. This step is so easy anybody can do it if you liked this video please let me know in the comment section and you can also show this by liking this video this will just help me know if i need to create a series on hair coloring dyeing exact steps to knowing your formula knowing the right formula to use please let me know in the comment section and i'm happy to create more videos on color thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one